afternoon, YouTube Ice Smokers. So thinking about Eric, uh, the blue collar pipers video on uh, taking care of your pipes. You know, I've had this thought for a while now, and uh, I was thinking as the pipes, as far as them being valuable, yes, maybe now there's some value to them, but I think the value is going to continue to decline as time goes on. And I'm going to compare this to another item, uh, old muscle cars. I think the market for the old muscle cars is dwindling also because the, the youth of today, unless their father happened to have a muscle car and it was handed down to them, they don't really have an interest in that type of vehicle because they didn't grow up around it. And they're more into, you know, the Honda and Toyota sport car type of hot riding, hot riding. So you take a GTO or Chevelle or a Camaro, any of those older collectible muscle cars, and I think there's going to be a less and less market once the generation that that appeal to starts to die off. The same thing with pipe smoking. Smoking in general is on a decline and, as we know, under attack. So the likelihood of, let's say, 10, 15 years from now, somebody in the market to buy a pipe, I don't think is going to be as popular as it might be today. Of course, there's no way to know any of this, but um, now there is an interesting twist to this. I smoke a pipe in my office in the shop, and many times somebody will come in and say, "Oh, that smells so good! I remember," and it takes them back. Um, but that doesn't mean they're going to go home and buy a pipe or. You know what I'm saying? So, as far as the value point, I, I don't know if that's a valid one. Um, now, I also have another friend of mine, uh, happens to be in the transmission business, that he collects Dunhill pipes and he doesn't smoke a pipe. He smokes some cigars, but he, he's in it strictly for the collection value of it. But again, you know, I can tell you something. I tend to be a uh, collector of sorts. Um, if I get into something, I can't have just one. So if it's pocket knives, I have many different pocket knives. And what I've learned is collecting thinking that you're going to have some nest egg is not a good plan, in my opinion, because I've had circumstances when the economy really took a hit after September 11th. Um, I almost lost my business because um, business dropped really low. Um, and I had a bunch of collectible items. I've had old cars, and I had many um, firearms that were kind of valuable. And I had to sell those to stay afloat. And I got pennies on a dollar of what they were actually worth. Because when you have to sell something, especially in a bad economy, the vultures circle ahead, uh, overhead, and you can't get what the value is actually worth many times. So, my advice, especially in the pipe world, is use your pipes, you know, I, I agree, take care of them, uh, but I wouldn't concentrate on the collector value of them. 
because that may or may not be a market for it. Enjoy them, take care of them like any other hobby, and uh, use them. You know, that's the best thing to do, and, and enjoy them. And really don't worry what happens to them afterwards. Chances are a lot of them are going to end up in the dumpster. You know? So, that's my opinion on that. As far as working on pipes, I enjoy that. I love to buy uh, old pipes and clean them up. And it's an interesting hobby, actually. Um, what fascinates me about that is they all seem to have that same taste, that floral, old granny pants type of smell and taste. I don't, I don't, no matter how you clean them, many have that, more so than don't. And I often said to myself, how can this be? Did, did all these people smoke the same type of tobacco? I wonder if it's something tobacco the tar does with age that causes that, and it's not really the tobacco that was smoked in it. And usually it disappears after you go through five or six bowls of whatever you smoke. But sometimes you get a real tough one that doesn't want to give up that ghost, so to speak. And even a salt treatment doesn't always work, I found. If you can see some wicked looking clouds up ahead. Supposed to be some thunderstorms in the area. Anyway, just wanted to come on and say that and hope everybody's having a good week so far. Short week, hump day. And catch you on the next one. Thank you.